Hello everyone, welcome to Forever Rugby on Forever Sports, Zebra 12, Sharks 10. What a result. The Italian side get their first victory in the URC for, in 18 months. 18 months. They went an entire season without winning a game. They've just beaten the Sharks. They got up to 9 points from their first 4 games. The Sharks get their first points on the board, but they will continue to be at the bottom of the table. They are now 4 games, 4 losses. And uh, in a bit of a turmoil, to be perfectly honest. Um, but I'll tell you what, the Zebra deserved that that win. Uh, Sharks discipline was absolutely dreadful. Um, a red card right at the end, which which was sort of, I think, maybe summed up the day. And uh, a Zebra side, a Zebra pack, which really pitched up. And that, for me, is what's so impressive. Is you don't often see an Italian side be able to sort of rival a South African side from a physicality point of view. But uh, Sharks got out scrum the entire game. Uh, both teams struggled with a little bit of white line fever. Couldn't really get over the... The, uh, the trial line, but yeah, it was a good game. Good defensive passes to play and uh, good, just just good graft, good grunt really from Zebra who kept themselves in the game and then uh, got that late penalty uh, to, to win it and then held on. So before we look at the game, please do smash the like on the video. Please do subscribe to the channel as well. Right, so it all started in the sixth minute where Geronimo Prish Cantelli, who was flawless off the tee, added the first points uh, in the sixth minute. This was cancelled out by Buddha Chamberlain in the ninth minute um, before Jacobo uh, Trula took a nicer penalty in the 30th minute to make it six points to three. Then a very nice try um, orchestrated by, um, well, I suppose actually off the back line, really. A couple, a couple of nice moves and uh, Cameron Wright eventually going over Buddha Chamberlain and doing the extras, 10 points to six. And that you kind of thought was going to be a changing uh, point, really, because the Sharks were under a lot of pressure early on, withstood it, Got to the other end, scored a nice try. You kind of felt, well, that could be a moment where they sort of click into gear, really. But uh, Zebra did very well to just sort of hang in there. And uh, hang in there, they did. Up in the fast, he got uh, a yellow card in the 59th minute. Do feel sorry for him. Um, you know, it was head-on-head -head collision. So by the letter of the law, it is at least a yellow card. But, I mean, he was very low. And uh, Garcia, who we made contact with, was very low. So you do feel fussy. You know, you kind of sit there thinking, well, what else can he do? Um, but yeah, that's what the law head on head contact. Um, that was then a six points to um, nine, and uh, then a big penalty in the 66th minute, with uh, which Prish Contelli uh, slotted 12 points to 10. Once again, that scrum from Zebra was amazing. And uh, then right at the end, Hiron Andrews with a red card, and Zebra held on. Let's look at the stats, shall we? Uh, Sharks with 56% possession, territory pretty much 50 50. Uh, one try, one conversion, so the four penalties winning it. Uh, for Zebra. Sharks beat more defenders, ran more meters, had more clean breaks, had double the game line carries, far more passes, uh, Zebra had more offloads, turnovers one with six a piece. Uh, not actually that much kicking from hand. Phenomenal kicking from hand though from Zebra. I thought they contested in the air very, very well. Um, if we look at uh, the defense, 89% uh, for both teams. Sharks having to make, asked to make 157, making 139 of them. Uh, sorry, Sharks asked to make 120 making 107 of them, whilst Zebra were asked to make 157, made 139. Uh, line success, Zebra lost one, Sharks didn't lose a single one. Scrum success, uh, Zebra says 73%, but I mean, they won a lot of scrum penalties off it. So. Uh, but discipline, Sharks seen 14 penalties to Zebra's three. So I'm sure there'll be a lot of ref chat um, based on that particular stat, but I do, I do think the Sharks may be unlucky a couple of times, but I think discipline-wise, they were pretty poor. Um, you know, a couple of side penalties that that clearance from uh, clear out from Hiron Andrews was was terrible, uh, and the scrum they were getting hammered. Uh, so a couple of individual performances take about Luca Biji, the 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 uh, the veteran uh, you know a hooker with eleven tackles. Daniel Paschetti, loose head, putting in seventy six minutes, fourteen tackles from him, seven carries made. Um, I thought that Leonard Krimov, the the big lock, made a lot of carries, fifteen tackles from him. Um, Bianchi made fourteen tackles. The captain, Javon Lakata, he made 17 tackles. Uh, Enrico Lucan carried very, very well. Uh, he made 11 tackles in the midfield. So heroic, really, uh, from Zebra. In terms of the Sharks, I thought that uh, Dino Richardson had a very nice game. Uh, 11 carries, 18 tackles. Three defenders beaten. Uh, turnover one as well. Uh, solid outing for him. I thought that uh, Miel van Heerden and Corne Roll were both pretty busy. But a very absolute loose trio. I thought James Fenton was probably the standout between of, of the three. Uh, George Cunha didn't really affect the game. And, and the back line, hell, Ronnie Hans from Rensburg, Francois Fenton, not managing to get that go-forward ball that they would have liked. 
So uh, a huge result, uh, a, a shock really, but uh, it shows you the sharks are not really where they're at. But I think it also shows the improvement um, that Zebra have made. And we need to be, be perfectly honest that they have made an improvement and that, that needs to be acknowledged. What do you think of the game? Let me know down in the comments below. Please do smash the like on the video. Please do subscribe to the channel as well. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Steve. I'll chat to you soon.